She's always late. For breakfast, bills, birthdays, bowling. We're closing. But she's never late for work. Because she starts every morning with traffic and weather from Eyewitness News, she knows exactly what's coming. With SkyMap 7 technology in Air 7 HD and live Mega Doppler helping you see how weather impacts your commute, Eyewitness News makes a difference in your mornings. From ABC 7. <laughs> I should say that you have had a career before Nightmare on Elm Street, and you were on, you did so much episodic television along the way, and then 1940, 1984 comes along, Nightmare on Elm Street, and it changes your life. Well, you know, that it's the happy accident. Uh, I did a series called V, and then Nightmare on Elm Street and the franchise, and they became uh, international successes. So I was able to work all over the world, and that probably wouldn't have happened had I remained uh, bad guy number one or the best friend <laughs> of the sidekick, which I, which I was doing, you know. All right, so there is this new movie, Night World, and I'm looking at the clips of Night World, and I'm seeing just a creep factor that goes along with this. Doors that you don't want to open, people you don't necessarily want to talk to. Will we be like this on the edge of our seats? Well, you know, Night World is, is not a slasher film, and I, I have certainly uh, uh, worked in, in those fields before. Uh, this is more of an H.P. Lovecraft kind of horror. It's like a, a short story by Lovecraft. It's almost like a, a love story, a ghost story, but it's sort of like, when does love die? Does love die uh, at death, uh, or or does it does it stay? And what kind of power could it possibly have? And and I sort of, uh, I'm kind of a contemporary Von Helsing character in this. Well, you've yeah. set up the clip very well, Robert. Oh, so uh, why don't we go to it right now? This building, it occupies a space directly over one of the seven gates. Each one, each gate, a kind of, shall I say, doorway to the other side. Yeah, that might be, I don't know, hell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it purgatory, <laughs> yes. Let's call it the night world. <laughs> How do you celebrate Halloween? You know, this year I'm going to be home. I'm gonna, I've got to guard the house because the kids come and they, they do it last time they put last year. They did a paraffin claw. Ready on my on my antique country brick <laughs> pathway, yes. So I'm going to guard it this year. I'm going to throw peanut butter cups at them. <laughs> you know, I, this is what I love about your career. You are working all the time. Before your next movie comes out, you've got three or four more credits on IMDb. You're an author. You did that book not too long ago. You really are constantly working. I love that. Well, I, I again, I think the blessing, the happy accident in my career was this sort of one-two punch of, of this series V and Nightmare on Elm Street because it really feels different when you click internationally. And we are a global economy now and a global business. And uh, I was just fortunate enough to have that door open. And this film, Night World, I think it's the first Bulgarian film ever to have a release in the United wow. States. Yeah, That's and it's an international cast and crew. Right. And uh, it's great fun. Very good. Robert England scaring people all around the world. Don't miss Robert <laughs> England in Night World. It's in select theaters and on demand today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, George. I just